Yama, I'm Jack, and this is News Break. The Great Barrier Reef is going through a mass coral bleaching event at the moment, turning once colourful coral white. Here's Nat with more. These videos are from the southern region of the Great Barrier Reef, where a huge coral bleaching event is taking place. It's the fifth time this has happened in eight years, which has experts worried. Seeing dramatic changes to our beautiful reefs here in Harvey Bay, unfortunately, um, our reefs are becoming really stressed because of the warmer waters. Bleaching events like this happen when the tiny algae that lives in the coral decides it's too hot and leaves. The algae is what gives coral its colour, as well as being a big source of food. So without it, coral turns white and can die. We won't know how significant it is until that um, plays out, and that's going to play out over probably the next six to eight weeks. But while we may be in dangerous waters at the moment, there is still hope. The government has put in some cash to do things like improve the water quality, reduce fishing, and control these guys, crown of thorn starfish, which eat coral. And 2022 saw the highest total coral cover since records began in the 80s. Given enough time and a lack of other pressures, then coral reefs in the Great Barrier Reef are still able to bounce back from these kind of events. SpaceX's Starship rocket is one step closer to making it to the moon. It's the largest and most powerful rocket ever made, and it just took its third test flight. The uncrewed rocket lasted longer than previous test flights and for the first time ever reached orbital velocity. But unfortunately, flight controllers lost contact with Starship just before re-entry. No splash down today, uh, but again, just it's incredible to see how much further we got this time around. Oh. Now to this humanoid robot which has left the internet and ran completely freaking out. Ooh. I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. No, this is not a deleted scene from a futuristic sci-fi robot movie. It's figure one, a new, very real humanoid robot, which is, well, a, a little too human-like for some people. Figure one has been brought to us by a robotics startup called Figure, and it's powered by OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, which is what makes it so special. You see, unlike any other robot, Figure One can recognize what's in front of it while carrying out tasks, while holding a conversation, while also reasoning and justifying why it's doing those things. Can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. It's one of the most advanced humanoid robots we've ever seen. And even though Figure says they've designed it to take on dangerous and undesirable jobs, some people are a bit worried they could end up doing more than that. So how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. Uh, that's a serve, just like these next stories. Typically seen serving on the court, these tennis stars were spotted serving customers at the Indian Wells Open in the US. Sorry guys, it's my first day here. The tennis players, including Australia's own Alex Dimonor, went undercover around the grounds, helping with security checks. The first check. It's okay, thank you. At the checkout. Just this one. And in the car park. Mate, that is perfect. <laughs> Weighing in at 20.4 grams, this blueberry has broken the Guinness World Record for the heaviest blueberry ever. The giant blueberry, which is only rivaled by Violet Beauregard in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, was grown here in Australia, is just under four centimetres long, and is nearly six times the weight of an average-sized blueberry. What a serve. And finally, maths enthusiasts and bakers have joined forces to serve up some pie. And some pie. You see, yesterday was March 14th, or 314, the first three digits of the mathematical constant that expresses the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter, <sighs> aka pi. Oh, now I really just want pie. Well, that's all the news we've got for you, but we'll be back on Monday with more. Goodbye. I mean, goodbye. Bye. Not pie, but maybe pie.